Hi, I'm Samantha, and this is my husband, Archford. Uh, it's been a little over a year since we decided to build our first home in the rural areas of Zimbabwe. We had and still have zero experience getting into this. <laughs> and that's because we grew up in the cities all our life, lived in the ghettos and semi-suburbs, <laughs> moved to Ukraine for university, met in Ukraine in 2016, graduated uni in 2018 and 2019, Worked in Ukraine for over a year. 2020, we decided to return back home and start a business. Got married in 2022. In 2023, we were blessed with a baby girl, and that's when we made the decision to build our rural homestead. Okay. Yeah, after quarantine, maybe, but just we just did you. I could talk about moving and why we made the decision to move back to Zimbabwe. I think because I found out that there's our plan, our business plan, then hopefully whoever is watching will support us. Yes, for no good reason, business are good. So I'm sure I'm a client. I'm going to ask you what you're going to do. I'm bad at it. But that's my. That's my place. My client's a photography, she geography, she reads Zimba. She said, Who think is it? Chamad. Who think is a photograph? Who think is a photograph? Ah, that's she said Zimba. She said Zimba. Those are two things. Those are two things. Photograph and geography. My services. I'm not to girl, no, a person. But what did this? I could tell her, marketing, Jay, otherwise, I don't think you see a shopping boy. What would you think is a photograph? Can I marry a chair? We are so to go back again. I know again. Choosing a place to live is personal, and everyone has their own reasons for wanting to live in the city versus in the rural areas. It does say uh, these are some of the reasons why we decided to make the switch. Number one, it is cheap. Quaka <laughs> cheap. So acquiring land building musha is very affordable compared to the cities. And looking at our finances, it would have taken us years to have our own place. We had no hope, zero hope. <laughs> no, I think I say stand them down, which tank it up at thirty thousand. Anyway, the places we could afford my infill I am at Madi, my hide in the suburbs uh, is enough for us. We can't at Kwanso Kredum Ghetto. The ghetto life is not for us. Uh, the land is just too small for us. The ghetto grass is more than the ghetto. Number two, we want to live like we are on vacation every day in a quiet environment. <laughs> uh, in the quiet, I sleep better. Focus better and feel more calmer. That's why house is plan is a bit different. You know, we want to spend our leisure time differently. And as we are getting older, where we want, where we really want to spend our time is in the garden. to my garden, garden to my vegetables. Anyway, personally, I'm looking forward to the joys of picking my own greens and turning them into magic in the kitchen. The first of Bika Bika, in case you didn't know. In fact, you didn't know. And Baba, what are you looking forward to? Kunda <laughs> kumombe. Kama, ji, 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 ji. All the good stuff. Okay. Natural. Number three, having more space. I understand in the city they don't think I got there and so meet a person like when you can push up. No, we want to be able to swim every day in the summer. We can't afford that in the city. So where else can we live like that? Kumusha, could have more space for that? So like, yes, that's one of the reasons. Then you know, some of the um, less tangible effects or reasons for moving to the rural areas why we decided um um you know, wherever we come here, with all the noise and grind of the city, we feel much more clear-headed. Yeah, we can process our emotions better. And I feel like it's easier to sustain a line of thought. Our ideas feel sharper. As entrepreneurs, we really needed that a space that allows that. 
uh, also feeling grounded in the city, uh, it's often hard to feel settled. There is much activity. But when I need to check rent, hi, hi. But you know, if you're at peace, uh, there's more space for creativity in our um, home. Is creatives having a bigger space means more room to play around with our ideas. We have so many ideas. So it's creative. We answer that. Ah, that's just dream for dream. Be No, not the general ones. Um, uh, our ideas actually. I see those general ones. A cool change at You know, I had to try it. I try to get a little bit of a And to connect us, we're gonna then we move to move the projects. Ninge right as ninge right as I try We scale it up. Ku farm. Kuno akus ku farm. No, no, no. I also farm my projects. No, this is our home. Tienge to show panel to change our farm. We still wanted to belong to a community. She says, "Oh, thank God, my brass is in the room. We are not going I feel like my brass is not that community. Amen. So, in conclusion, I think it all comes down to what kinds of activities and experiences you'd like to bring into your life. Ultimately, no place has everything. You just need to find a place that feels like home. And for us, Kumosha feels like home. So thank you guys for watching. I hope my make a better understanding of why we want to move to the rural areas. And please do like the video if you find value in it. Thank you so much.